And we are back with Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners, uh, here every week. And we talk about, well, whatever Lisa wants to talk about in this segment. And so you are just the most chit-chatty person that I know. I am? Not even remotely <laughs> chit-chatty. She can go through life and she, you know, most, I need 25,000 words a day to, so I feel good about myself and others. Mm -hmm. You only need it per week. I'm a woman of few words. You sure are. I'm glad you're here sharing with us. So <laughs> I'll try not to use my 25,000 words. I'll just, you should give a word out to folks. Yeah. We are expecting a grandson in about yeah. uh, 10 Couple days. Weeks. Yeah. The official date is February 15th. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see. Kate, yeah. our oldest, for mm -hmm. those of you that, that know our family, Caitlin's our oldest. Uh, she uh, lives in Austin, Texas right now, but she's going to deliver here in a couple of weeks. We're very excited. I'm excited because I want to go see a new grandbaby. I do too. <laughs> That's me too. Fun for me. So yeah, she's doing very well. I'm excited for her. But yeah, speaking of February 15th, day after Valentine's. So Valentine's Day is a coming, folks. Do you have your special person, their Valentine gift yet? So a gardener, I gather. <laughs> Actually, I do. I'm all set. I've been Are set you? for a month. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm all set. Okay. Well, I'm not, but I'll be get so there. surprised. <laughs> Can't wait. So Valentine's is a coming, and so most people think, oh, well, chocolates, right? roses, flowers. Yeah. But if you have a gardener in your life, I have a few suggestions for you. Uh, a couple of house plants, things that we got in. Now, those of you not watching the vlog won't be able to see this. Describe but... it in so many words. <laughs> so the first plant I have is an anthurium, which is actually the state flower for Hawaii. I did not know that. It is. So if you want a nice, really pretty red bloomed flower, the anthurium is terrific. The bloom is actually very heart shaped. Yeah. Uh, and they last forever. They bloom like so months. So you can get cut flowers that will, by the end of the week, they're gone. But you get them a blooming plant, and you got color for a long, long time. So anthurium is probably one of my favorite. I love yeah. the big green leaves that contrast with that bright red foliage, a bright red flower. It's beautiful. So it's got a, a heart shaped flower, just a little bit shy. It's it's a, the size of a child's hand. So it's not quite as big as yours, but close. Mm -hmm. The leaves are nice waxy leaf and the stamen on it's a bright yellow compared to the bright, like blood red. It's not even blood red. It's, it's brighter red than that yeah. flower. It's like heart red. It screams hearts and valentines. <laughs> it and does. Just a pretty little plant that blooms yeah. forever. This is a floral grade. It is right. happy as can be. Definitely an indoor plant. Oh, yeah. You want to keep oh, yeah. them indoors. You'll be happy there. Uh, bright room. Um, likes the moistures. A little humidity is terrific for it. Why not have a little Hawaii in your home? This is the <laughs> state, state flower for Hawaii, right? Yes. Is that what you said? Well, there we go. Yes, there you go. So that is one option for you. The other one I have is a bromeliad. So the thing I like about bromeliad, you talk about long blooming. So bromelias have that big, beautiful flower that comes out of the center. It can be red, it can be pink, it can be yellow, a lot of different colors. But they will bloom almost up to a year. Yeah. That bloom will last. Yeah. So I think they're better than orchids because orchids mean beautiful, not knocking orchids. But when they're, they don't bloom as long as a bromeliad does. Yeah. They, they bloom a month or two. These yeah. bloom for a year or two. Right. Totally different scale. Oh, definitely. It almost looks like a pineapple or something. It does. Like a, it has. Like a flower. That, that bright flower. red mm -hmm. flower coming up, just kind of erupting out of this, almost like a yucca kind of leaf to it. Mm -hmm. Bright green and that bright, just the, that is a blood red right. kind of color to the flower. Yeah. And it you can sit that in an office. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and you'll look like a gardener, but you don't do anything for <laughs> it. That's great. So it's just beautiful. Definitely. How many colors of these do we have? Uh, so just we've red? got, I brought in more of the Valentine colors. So we have a dark pink one and we got two different colors of red. Good. In. So, but just really attractive foliage, nice color, lasts forever. So it's a very good option for your Valentine. And the price is right. So you can afford to buy one of every color <laughs> for the garden Valentine and your, your love, your right. love, your life. 
So those are two options. If you want, we also have African violets, which I didn't bring over, but I got some beautiful African violets right now all too. All different colors, all in bloom, really gorgeous. But another option, of course, Valentine's roses. Everybody thinks of roses. So instead of getting a rose that's only going to last a week, get a rose that can be planted in a pot or a rose that can be planted in the ground last few years and years and years. Yeah. So I brought in, so we got in our, we call them dormant roses. I'll let you hold that. It's this pretty is heavy. It. This is fully <laughs> rooted. So, so yes, so it is dormant. So it doesn't have the leaves or anything on it yet. But you see that big pot. It's a fiber pot. I don't know if you can see it. No. It's, it's a big and fiber pot. I don't want to get pot. all this dirt on my keyboard. I, I mean, it's fine. I'm nervous. But what I want to say is that pot has is full of roots so it's not root bound but it's it's got a nice root structure to it so when you put it in the ground it's not going to curl up and die yeah and go oh my gosh it's cold it's wet it's going to have a nice heavy root structure to it so it's going to leaf out in the spring you're going to get beautiful blooms on it this year um, if you look at the canes and i think that's the one thing you've got to realize there are grades in oh, yeah. dormant roses yeah definitely different grades the canes on this one are as big as my index finger. I mean, they are big and hefty, and they're going to really produce some nice, nice uh, So they've got roses. Food. They've got A grade, B grade, C grade, and they even have a below grade that. Mm -hmm. We only carry A grade, so it's, it's bigger, uh, more balanced, three to five balanced canes. They mm -hmm. actually go through a conveyor belt, and they actually grade them out. Um, and then the size of the cane. So they got wimpy canes and substantial canes. And what you want for your, for five extra bucks, you can have a really good grade right. of rose, or you can pinch a couple pennies and you'll struggle for three years before it finally catches up and blooms right. like a grade A rose would, would grow. So uh, the quality does matter and you don't necessarily mm -hmm. see it unless you put them <clears throat> side by side right. or you, you're a gardener and you've, you've, You've put a few of these in the ground, you just know, dang it, that didn't work out the way I wanted. Or, oh my gosh, I am a gardener. That's quality or, or right. skipping on things. Yeah. So I was at one of the box stores. Don't say which one, but it's I blue won't. or orange. But or... they had a whole display of bare root roses. Yeah. Well, they were already leafed out. I'd come. Oh so gosh. what happens when you take this poor tender little bare root rose and you put it outside in the cold yep. right now? Yep. It's not going to be happy, people. Yeah. So, you, you, yes, you spend a little bit more, but you are getting a quality, quality rose that you can put out there and enjoy this summer. So we got uh, we got all different colors in. But ones, a couple of one I want to mention that are usually a little harder to find that people always look for. So the Joseph's Coat Climbing nice. Rose. So we got quite a few of those. And that one, it's just hard to find. But it's yeah. very popular. It's got the orange and yellows and pinks. It's a it's a multicolored rose. It's spectacular. Uh, we also got quite a few of the Double Delight, which is another really popular rose. It's a white with a pink edge to it. But the fragrance on that yeah, one will knock amazing. your socks off. It yeah. is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we got Sugar Moon, which is probably my favorite rose, which I don't know why I don't have one planted at the house yet. I don't know. You know what? I've got a one that's kind of overgrown. I'm kind of getting tired of it. Not I wouldn't mind a front. sugar moon okay. in, in the back, okay. in a pot. All right, just checking. Just, you bring it home, <laughs> I'll find a way to. So sugar moon has a big white uh, flower on it, and it's another one that just smells amazing. You get anywhere near it, and you're like, what is that smell? It's even, even better than a gardenia or, mm -hmm. or jasmine or something. Yeah. It's got quite the smell. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So what other ones do we have? Oh, we're out I, of time? I think you're out of time. They just got to come in and take a look. If you're you thinking should. of roses, now's the time. Have a nice selection. Uh, this is what we'll have until the end of April. And then uh, we'll get one more little load and then we'll have another thousand roses show up in April. They'll all be in bloom. So, mm -hmm. uh, but now's the exotic <laughs> colors, the different ones you just can't get then. You get them now. Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. We'll be right back after this.